Hi, I am uh, Laura Muño and I am a pediatric cardiologist and cardiogeneticist at the University Hospital in Ghent in Belgium. It is my pleasure today to bring you some information on phenotypic features that may suggest an underlying syndromic hashtag. This is an update from the 2022 ACC aortic disease guidelines and is brought to you by the Gentac Alliance. So whenever we have a patient with an aortic thoracic aneurysm, we should pose ourselves the question whether that patient could have an underlying genetic disease. Why is that important? Is because knowing the gene might allow us to give that patient a personalized treatment. It might help us identifying other family members at risk of having aortic disease, and it will help us as well to estimate the transmission risk of the disease to other generations. At the 2022 ACC aortic guidelines on figure 17, you can find a, some indications on when genetic testing should be performed. Today, we will focus on features of Marfan syndrome, lewis syndrome, and vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. As you know, these uh, syndromes are caused by different genes. Marfan syndrome is caused by fibrinin 1. lewis syndrome is caused by different uh, genes in the tgf beta pathway. And vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is caused by pathogenic variants in the COL3A1 gene. Patients with Marfan syndrome, besides having aortic root dilatation, they might present also with ectopia lentis, which is a cardinal feature of the disease. Next to these cardinal features, patients with Marfan syndrome might have very typical skeletal phenotype. They usually are long and slender. They might present with scoliosis. They might have erinodactyly, increased arm span, chest wall deformities, and flat feet, which is very commonly associated with hind foot deformity. Besides the skeletal features, patients with Marfan syndrome might have recurrent pneumothorax, might also have mitral valve prolapse next to the aortic root dilatation. They can present derelictasia and also pertussio acetabuli. Patients with lewis syndrome might share some of these phenotypic features. They might also have some skeletal features overlapping with Marfan syndrome, as well as the non-skeletal features overlapping with Marfan syndrome. Nevertheless, they can also present very specific features of, Marf of uh, lewis syndrome, which will make them uh, phenotypically different to the ones to the patients with Marfan syndrome. They present hypertellurism, which is a higher distance between the eyes. They can present with bifid uvula, as shown in the picture. They might have craniosynostosis as uh, small children, which leads to different forms of the skull. They might also present with club foot. Very typically, patients with lewis syndrome have a broader vascular involvement in comparison to those with Marfan syndrome. They have aneurysm and dissection outside the thoracic aorta, and they might also present with uh, intensive uh, aortic or arterial tortuosity. Next to these vascular problems, they might also have a higher risk of allergies, asthma and eczema, and they also have a higher risk of high developing inflammatory bowel disease. Patients with vascular Alessandro syndrome have very distinctive uh, phenotype. They have very distinctive facial features, which include prominent eyes, narrow nose, thin babillon of the lips, they might also have thin and translucent skin. To the contrary, uh, to patients with lewis syndrome and Marfan syndrome, they not always present aortic di uh, dilatation, but they might present aneurysm and dissection of peripheral arteries. They also might present with hollow organ rupture, and children with ehlers syndrome sometimes might present with pneumothorax. 
This was a brief overview of some phenotypic features that may suggest an underlying syndromic hashtag, and it was brought to you by Laura Muño from the Ghent University Hospital. Thank you.